now we are going to see fraction of collection fraction of a collection fraction also refers to a part of a whole collection of or a group okay fraction i told you already fraction also refer to a part of a whole collection or a group so collection means whole means collection or a group whole thing mean collection or a group okay that is called as so part of a whole part of a whole collection or a group is called as a fraction so part of a whole thing it is called as a fraction a group of a part okay as a group of a part is also a fraction okay that means five groups we have taken only one group one group of even five group means each group uh, three three students so total five groups means already how many groups five into three 15 groups but i selected only what two group means how many children so each group three three children so i i segregate it into three children for each group okay three children in each group so five groups totally so five into three 15 children i have selected only two groups means two by five that means what will get that means three that means two into three that is six ch children six by what 15 that is the exact fraction otherwise we can only group wise we can see if you in if you see individually 6 by 15 but if you say group wise 2 by what 5 that is 2 by 5 is a group okay group wise we can call it as 2 by 5 but individually you can consider 6 by 15 that is what so part of a whole it is called as a fraction a part of a group it is called as a fraction it's also a fraction that is what the meaning of the exact fraction definition example there are four mugs in all one mug is green the rest in red okay that is what see uh, i have just written in green color i think so you understand very clearly so green okay so there are four mugs how many mugs that is first mug that is first second third and fourth okay four mugs there are four mugs in mugs in all there are total number of mugs what four mugs there are four mugs in all that means total number of mugs uh, mugs mugs or mugs are what four okay total number of mugs we can call it as four so total number of mugs total number of mugs total number of mugs what four that means number of total number of mugs that means four four mugs total number of mugs what four mugs one mug is green color this is the fourth mug is in green color the rest are what red in color first second and third these three the rest are these three mugs are mugs are red in color okay the three mugs are red rest is green in color that is what that means one mug is green the rest are red that means what is the meaning that means three mugs are red in color only one mug is green in color total number of mugs is equal to what four so three mugs number of mugs red number of red mugs otherwise number of mugs in red in color we can write otherwise we can call it as number of red mugs what three number of that is green mugs is equal to one one okay look at this one fourth of the mugs are green one fourth of the mug is what green that means total number of mugs what four but we have to consider only we have to take only the green mug green mug that means one fourth one by four in fraction okay green mug part of the collection all the mugs of the whole collection all the mugs means total number of mugs how many mugs total number of mugs four but i have taken only green mug that means one by fourth or one fourth that is called as green mug means one fourth of the mugs are green color green mug we have if you take only the green uh, green color mug means what is the answer one fourth of the mug are green in color so uh, while you write in fraction one by four that is called as one fourth if you say in uh, what uh, if you say in name we can call it as one fourth if you write in fraction one by four so one by four is equal to green mug that means one is a green mug that is was that is what i written this is a numerator and this is a denominator so total number of mugs is a denominator i have chosen only the green green mug that is what only one mug only because only one mug is green in color so i have chosen only one mug so one by four that is one is a green mug that is a numerator all the mugs it is a number of mugs are what four mugs so part of the collection it is a total total whole what what is a whole it is what a, what is this whole collection so fraction means what fractions refer to part of a whole collection part of a whole collection so this is a whole collection but 
we have taken only from the only one part from this we have taken only one only part only one part from the whole collection that is what so one fourth that means one fourth is a while you say in name while you say one fourth while you write in while you write in name we can call it as one fourth while you write in fraction one by four that is one is a green mug is a part of the collection all the mugs that is a whole collection i think so you understand the first one second is a three fourth of mugs are red in color so remaining means if i take only one green color mug from the part the remaining how many colors that is remaining mugs are red in color the remaining mugs are three these three mugs are red in color that is what three fourth of the mugs are red that is three mugs in red color to total number of mugs four so for total number of mugs four i have taken only three mugs that is three mugs are same in color otherwise red in color so three by four three is the numerator and four is the denominator red marks part of the collection all the mugs that is a whole collection see you know that fraction is a what part of a whole part of a whole collection or a group so total number of mugs is four mugs if you choose what is the, if you choose the color if you just choose a green color mean you have taken only one mug from the whole that means one fourth or one by four in fraction if you choose red in color means you have taken three mugs from the whole that means three by four or three fourth three fourth means it's a naming words while you say in fraction three by four fraction this is the right answer for the question that means one is a part of a whole the remaining four is a total number of mugs three is a part of a whole and four is a total number of mugs that is what the whole collection i think so you understand the concept very well